Are you looking for a homemade fig jam that is easy to make and doesn't require any additional pectin or gelatin? A healthier fig jam recipe that will use up a pound of fresh figs and can be served as an appetizer with crackers or smothered on toast for breakfast. Hey there, my name is Linda Brazil from EvolvingTable.com, where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today is this homemade fig jam. My mom and stepdad have a farm just outside of San Marcos, Texas, where they have two humongous fig trees. And just about every year, right around July 4th, those beautiful green fruits start to turn a delightful brown and are seeping with sweet, juicy goodness. And this year while we were out there, we just so happened to have a bunch of friends that were able to help us pick all of these figs. Oh my God, folks, this is a fresh fig on the farm. Farm, London's farm. Some people call it a figlet. A, fi <laughs> a figlet. So yeah, baby. So but what are we supposed to do with literally hundreds of fresh figs? Make this homemade fig jam recipe. So if you're ready to get to jamming, come on in and let's get started. First start off by picking and preparing our fig. Give me just one minute. All right, we've got all of our figs now. There are quite a few different varieties of figs that will work well in this recipe. What we're using here today are actually brown turkey figs. If you don't have these kind of figs, it's totally okay. You can always use a slightly sweeter variety, such as a black mission fig or the green Adriatic fig. Just know that both of these are on the sweeter side and you might need to adjust the amount of sweetener that you use accordingly. We'll be using one pound of fresh figs or around 30 to 40 of these brown turkey figs. You want to measure out as close to one pound as you can, so using a kitchen scale is a great way to check. Now that we've weighed out one pound of fresh figs, let's go ahead and start trimming off all of these little stems that you see here. Simply cut off the stem from each of the figs, or just snap your fingers to speed things up a bit. In order to get a smoother and not too chunky fig jam consistency, we're going to be pureeing up our figs before cooking. You can either use a large food processor or you can use a high-speed blender such as a Nutribullet. Since I want to have just a little bit more control on the consistency of the jam, I'm just going to be using this food processor today. Add rinsed and trimmed figs to the processor along with a quarter cup of water. Process for 10 to 15 seconds or until figs are mostly smooth but still have a few chunks remaining. To sweeten the jam, we'll be using a combination of both honey and coconut sugar. However, if you happen to be vegan, you can always substitute pure maple syrup in place of the honey. But since I really think the honey gives this jam a unique and special flavor, we're just going to stick with it for today. Add pureed figs to a medium-sized skillet over medium-high heat, along with a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of coconut sugar, a pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Or you can always use fresh orange juice instead of the lemon juice. Bring mixture to a boil, and cook over medium-high heat for one to two minutes, stirring constantly. Reduce heat to medium-low and let simmer for 10 to 15 minutes, uncovered, or until figs have reduced by half. And this last ingredient is optional, but I feel like it really adds a special depth of flavor to the fig jam. We'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract during the last one to two minutes of cooking. Let fig jam cool to room temperature before serving or storing. This homemade fig jam recipe will keep well for up to two to three months if stored in the refrigerator or up to one year if canned using a water bath. There are so many ways that you can enjoy this homemade fig jam. From slathering it on a piece of toast, putting it on a buttermilk biscuit, or my personal favorite is to put it with a little bit of goat cheese on a gluten-free cracker. Oh my gosh! Mmm, 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 mmm. 
And this is exactly how we enjoyed this homemade fig jam recipe when we were at the Barton Creek Greenbelt this past weekend. It reaches out. It's Claire. <laughs> what do you think, Claire? That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. You know it. Thank you. Oh. This is a nice big bite. Eat the whole thing. The it's whole thing? so good. Got it. Yep. Mmm. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out these other healthy appetizer recipes. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another nourishing meal to serve your loved ones. See you again soon.